Hello beautiful Libras. Welcome back everybody. I hope you're doing great today Libra. Thank you so much guys for all your beautiful comments, your generosity. Each time you hit the like button and each time you subscribe it is very touching and warming and I truly appreciate it guys. Know that. Let's see what the messages are for Libra spirit. Libra energy. I want to tell you that if you haven't subscribed, you'll want to do so because I am very soon giving away the Infinite Energy Oracle decks, guys. And to be eligible to be entered into the draw, you must be a subscriber, guys. Say yes. Expand through the extremes. Trust life. Plant yourself here, Spirit is saying. Integration, embodiment, and grounded action. The rose thread. Inner call, soul led, the mystic, living courageously. Sophia. Divine plan, wisdom, intelligence within, destiny. The bloom. Creations are realized. The right time to harvest and celebrate. Let's see what your angel numbers for today are. Libra energy. Three spirit is saying so. <laughs> and then I say three. What does three say? Expression comes naturally to you. You're very skilled at communicating your thoughts through conversation and creative pursuits. You are able to get others on board with your ideas. You're very charismatic. Libra energy. 7-7. Seven, seven. I am brave. It is time to move on from the old patterns, habits, and fears. Now is the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambitions. Now is the time to be bold and brave. 7-7 seven, seven is led by the universe. You're being led. I am kind-hearted. You are both open-minded and open-hearted, and your ambition is to leave the world better than you found it. Ensure that your goals are aligned with the collective need and with the highest good of all. Eleven, I'm intuitive. You have keen awareness of what is happening around you. A strong intuition is your gift and will help you understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others. This insight allows you to be a great guide and supporter. 21. I am inspiring. You are highly creative with a strong will to succeed. Your imagination is highly charged. It reveals itself in everything you do from your sparkling conversations to your most prized projects. 26. I am tactful. You have desired you have desire to succeed and will feel most accomplished when your work benefit when your work is benefiting others. Your intuitive awareness of what people want allows you to come up with innovative solutions to meet their needs. I was once told at a business seminar, if you find a need and fill it, you will be a success in business. It is knowing the needs of people. That needed to be said. Libra.
Libra. Your personal unicorn. Bathe in pure love and stay open to unicorn magic. Pure intention. Find clarity and surrender your ego. We all have ego. All of us. Every one of us. Refreshing. Oasis. Nurture yourself and gather your strength because you're being called to do something Act with honor and integrity and speak your truth. However you're communicating, you're supposed to be a service to others and doing what is for the higher good of all, leaving the world a better place in which you found it. The goddess of balance. I can't make it up. I create and foster reciprocal relationships. The storyteller. Intention. I am the narrator of my life. And it's like using your truth to help and assist others. The amber star. Let go. I surrender and allow myself to grieve. I am the visionary. Awake, with an intuitive perspective, I see the big picture. And taking that information and that knowledge and sharing it with others. Maybe you, some of you are a writer and need to write a story. You're a great communicator. And maybe you're communicating your ideas. Maybe you should be communicating the knowledge and the wisdom that you have learned and using that to benefit others. Libra. And maybe some of you already are. But there is definitely someone being called to share their story and speak their truth. Queen of Winter. Let go of people or things that are no longer of service to you. Now is the time to focus on your career, unmarried or divorced individuals. Seven of Winter. There's a better choice. Not seeing things clearly. Running away from the truth. Hmm. King of Autumn, a compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, gifted individual. Be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. Everything is going your way, a good person or a community to work for. Two of Winter, indecision is holding you back. Make the choice that's best for you rather than trying to please others. Feeling trapped between intellectual and the emotional. Don't run away from whatever this is. You're strong enough to speak your truth. The lovers. True love that is long lasting. Choices made from the heart. A return. To good health, healthy relationships. What is going on? Speak your truth. Maybe something has been running from the truth. It's like maybe somebody had to surrender their ego and speak their truth. Maybe somebody didn't want you to speak your truth or communicate your truth. Maybe somebody cut you off, ghosted you. They're running from their own truth. Taken, wedding bells, the one and only, cuffed. 
bougie, a rich mindset, financial freedom, high class. Somebody might have been doing a weird flex on you, feeling unusual or strange or boasting, but this is following your gut intuition. There's a spark here. Perfect match. Following your gut feeling. This is a soul connection. A solid foundation. A higher commitment and loyalty. So, make yourself a priority. Make yourself your number one priority. But there is some kind of Somebody is in a financial struggle or a deficit, but they're faking it. They're faking like they got it all together, but they don't. This is a major key here. I'm going to make myself my first priority if you don't make yourself a first priority how can you help others you have to make yourself a first priority you're very kind-hearted and things like that but you have to speak your truth Maybe somebody was <laughs> somebody is wearing a false front here and they gotta surrender their ego. What's going on? A lot of arguments, a lot of anger, a lot of resentment, and it could be to do with work. Someone very charming, charismatic, taking a leadership role. This is the Wheel of Fortune, but somebody is holding back or holding on. They could be having a financial deficit they might be pretending you know acting bougie you know high class but maybe they're maybe they're thinking that they're simple maybe they're thinking that they can't impress people unless they got a lot of money or something like that Maybe they're a fake. Maybe they need to surrender their ego and realize that they're just as simplistic as the rest of us. You know what I mean? They're stressed out and they're worried. This is the lovers. True that love that is long lasting. Choices that are made from the heart. A returned to good health maybe they're thinking in order to return that they gotta have a bunch of money or be bougie to impress you but the honest truth is maybe somebody was a people pleaser and cared more about what other people thought of them than what they thought of themselves thinking that Money can buy love. Somebody is thinking, I don't have enough money to impress. I don't think that Libra will be impressed with me because I don't have 
I'm not bougie. I, I am not high class enough. I'm not, I don't think Libras are worried about being high class. I think that they're worried that someone follows their heart rather than money can't buy me love here. Libra's not looking at a bougie lifestyle. Libra is looking at a simplistic, basic lifestyle, knowing perfectly well that you can work out anything financially, but follow your heart. It's like Somebody might be feeling, oh, I'm too basic or I'm just simplistic here. Um, and I think somebody might be thinking that you will judge them based on their finances or vice versa. Someone is heavily burdened. And it could be to do with reciprocal relationships, you know, maybe they try to impress others by their finances, but the truth of the matter is, is that these people are draining their resources, draining their finances, trying to act bougie, trying to impress others by spending a lot of money. They need to stand their ground. They're too worried what other people think of them. They want to they want others to think that they're bougie. They want others to think that they they're this generous, generous person. Empress energy. They need to see the truth and speak their truth. You know, an empress energy is someone who nurtures the seeds of something and can plant their own garden. They don't need to impress. You know, maybe someone is looking at you as bougie. Maybe someone is looking at you as high class. And maybe they feel like they have to impress you somehow. But that isn't what impresses Libra. What impresses Libra is leaving the world a better place than what they found it you know, and they're very tactful, and this could be you creating something. Mm. This is temperance, this is balance, this is joy, peace. Happiness, growth, hmm. loving and nurturing and generous. What the heck? What is this new cycle all about or closing out a cycle? Or is this distance? Maybe somebody didn't follow their heart. Maybe somebody was too interested in you know, impressing others instead of uh, impressing the person that they had, you know. Maybe there's angry words being exchanged and somebody just ignored somebody's truth. It's like I'm speaking my truth here whether anybody likes it or not. You know, money don't impress me much. What impresses me is what is in your soul, what is in your heart. The rest you can nurture and create. 
but if you have this energy of someone needs to surrender their ego this is a people pleaser someone is a people pleaser thinking that they you know they don't have enough to give or that somebody is like they might buy their affections and it's costing them a fortune mm. Somebody could be self-medicating or we're acting selfish, ending a contract, somebody is depressed, feeling like somebody's empowering themselves here. I don't know, maybe somebody is feeling foolish about manipulating or falling into manipulation schemes. What is this? Thinking that something would be, I don't know what this is. flossing, you know, thinking that they can impress someone by, with all their money or whatever, but that's what they attract, you know. Somebody is thinking, well, I can impress people, I can show off here, I can act all bougie, and I can have everything that I want, wealth buys, I can get anybody I want because I'm wealthy. What? This is a soulmate connection. But somebody is sitting here. Maybe they're trying to impress other people. Maybe they're trying to impress their family. Maybe they're trying to impress others by buying their affections. These are people that they shouldn't even be trusting in the first place. They need to speak their truth. Huh. The gaslighting, getting gaslit. They know who they want. Somebody's got to surrender their ego. This person is trying to impress everybody by uh, materialism, but they're going broke doing it. <laughs> This is a solid foundation. Somebody is the high priestess already knows what's going on. They're, they're ascended. They're a star. But this person may have blocked you or denied this connection because they were too busy impressing others, thinking that, you know, well, you know, I'm high class. <laughs> mm. No, they're greedy. <laughs> Causing delays, you know what I mean? Judging someone. Maybe somebody's family or friends were judging this connection. And they're acting all big shoddy, be bougie, you know, spending money on uh, other connections, trying to act like they were beyond their means, living beyond their means, trying to act all bougie and high class and showy, but I don't know. Yep, thinking they're you know, got it all wealth here, trying to impress their fem, their friends and their family, acting all bougie, but when all is said and done, who do they want to restart things with? The past person. Why?
Hmm. This is what it is. Not seeing someone's value, not seeing someone's worth, thinking like, you know, I got to get somebody really high class here. I got to get someone who's all fake and all materialistic. Hmm. That money don't buy you love. And that's what this is saying. This person needed to follow their heart. Libra's like, I'm not interested in your bougie you know. I could be quite content with somebody who is very plain, very basic. But they got to have love. They got to follow their heart. And I'm determined to leave the world in a better place than what I found it. I'm not into betrayal. I'm not in to gossip. I don't care what people think of me, say about me. I know my value. I know my worth. I'm gonna look a long time, you know, to find someone with that. And someone's had to learn the school of hard knocks here. Because maybe now they're the ones who are struggling. What is this? Jealousy and envy of you? Or maybe they were thinking, you know, this will make Libra jealous. I will make Libra a last priority. Maybe Libra is just basic. There ain't nothing basic about Libra, but you don't, you know, live high on the hog here. You will take care of the essentials of life. You'll take care of your home. You will take care of yourself. You will take care of your family. You have made yourself your first priority, knowing perfectly well that if you don't care for yourself, how can you care for anyone else? And this one is the opposite. It's like they want the bougie lifestyle. But where are their friends? Where are they friends now? Oh! <laughs> Did they walk away from them? When they have no more money? When they're broke? Where are their friends then? I see you confident, single. I see that you've made yourself a first priority. And... What? Freed yourself from this trap. <laughs> and now they're the ones going broke and you're the, this is the have and the have nots. I mean, they thought they had the bougie lifestyle. This is someone living high on the hog. Spending money to impress their friends, their family, other people, other lovers looking down at you going, oh, they're just basic. Turns around, the tables have turned. You're the one now who's the bougie lifestyle and they're the broke ass ones. Where are their friends now? Where is their family now? Now there is no more money to be doled out. You are the high class bougie one now. <laughs> it's like going, you know, they thought you were basic, plain, not bougie. Maybe their family judged you on your uh, wealth or your materialistic thing. Now you're the one with all the wealth and they're the bust ass broke ones. <clears throat> yeah. There is nothing wrong with having money at all. Money is not the root of all evil. It is people who are the root of evil, not money. 
You can do wonderful things with money. You can be very generous and you can be very charismatic and very generous to, to, to people, you know what I mean, with money. But this one was using money to buy their affections. Finding out that when they're broke, they don't got a friend in sight. The friends all walk away from me. So, yeah. Who should they have made a priority? But their soulmate. This is a people pleaser. They should have made their relationship a priority and not their friends and not their family. They should have made their relationship a priority. The rest always works out. You can always gain wealth. You know what I mean? But when you sacrifice love over finances, it's not such a great way to be. Just ghosting someone because they think they're just simple. Then they turn out to be wealthy and they turn out to be the real high class one. The real bougie one. Then everybody's like, oh my God, who knew? Mm. Can't buy me love Everybody tells me so You know, it's those who have the least to give Who are usually the most generous In nature, you know I don't have a lot to give, but what I got, I'll give to you. Because I don't care too much for money. Money can buy me love. Just like the song says, you know. I'll be generous with you. I'll give you what I can. Some of you Libras would give the shirt off your back to help another human being. But now you're making yourself a priority. Because when you are destitute and when you are down and out and down on your luck, where are all these people? So you are going to help people regardless. Whether they're richer, whether they're poor, it don't matter to Libra. Because you know that money comes and goes. But love is consistent. Right? Can't buy love. This person figured that they could buy people's affections they found out wrong hmm. they've got a big decision to make here they cannot run from it they've got to address their issue if they ever want to find true love they have got to follow their heart, not their wallet. Nothing wrong with having money, but not when you sell out people you love to have it. Because you can, your situation with money can turn around in the blink of an eye. But love is consistent, you know. That's that richer for poor in sickness and in health. I'll be by your side. You'll be by mine. And we'll get through this, you know. No, nope, don't act like this person was acting superior somehow. 
that they were better than you or their family was judging you that they were better than you or something like that. It's like, wrong. You may have even told that this person that. Libra's just all about, I'm going to leave... I'm inspired, I'm kind-hearted, I'm brave, I'm intuitive, I'm tactful, and I'm determined to leave this world in a better place than what I found it. So that does not usually, with people with that attitude, usually do, do very financially well. <laughs> Why you're the winged messengers, you know? That's why the universe uses you as a messengers because you bring truth and clarity and fairness and equality and justice to people. You know? What the heck? What were they thinking? You know what I'm saying? It's like you know the truth. It's like you're tactful. You're a good communicator. You're brave, kind-hearted, but intuitive. And like you want to inspire people. You don't want to take people down. You want to inspire people to become the best selves that they can be. But you have to make yourself a priority in order to give you've got to give to yourself so that you have something to give to others and it seems to be that somebody needs to speak their mind and communicate their truth and by communicating your truth you are helping others that's one of the gifts that you're blessed with maybe some of you are writers and are going to write a book Some of you are using your words to, to uplift others or communicate to others, you know. Fake ass ain't going to work for Libra, just to put it out there. Fake asses ain't going to work for Libra. Nope. You know, that don't impress me much. Your money can't keep you warm in the middle of the night. Just Shania Twain. You know, that don't impress me much. You're impressed by realism. I want someone real. I want someone who I can converse with and share my ideas and my truth. I don't want somebody who's going to judge me every time I open my mouth. And even if they do judge you, you're all good <laughs> on your own. You know your truth. Plant yourself here, Spirit saying. Grounded action. Expand through the extremes and trust. A divine plan, wisdom, destiny. Listening to the inner call, not the exterior call, you know? Things like that don't impress Libra much, you know. People can floss their money all they want. doesn't make, mean that they're a good person. 
doesn't mean that they know how to love. That don't impress Libra much. What impresses Libra is the truth. And what impresses Libra is the basics. Libra would rather take somebody who was plain and basic as long as they loved unconditionally and truthfully that would make you happy money will come later <laughs> or maybe they don't realize you already are wealthy you know wealth isn't what you have in the bank wealth is who you are on the inside and how you leave the world, you know, a better place by speaking your truth. It's looking like the people who judged are the very people who are being judged. Take care, Libra.